if you tell me you own 1% of the apartment houses in the United States and you offer me a 1% interest, so I'll have a 1% interest in all the apartment houses in the country, I'll write you a check. If the people in this room owned all of the farmland in the United States and you offered me a 1% interest in it and you said for a 1% interest in all the farmland, pay me uh, $25 billion, I'll write you a check. It's very simple. The apartments are going to produce rental and, and the farms are going to produce food. Now, if you told me you owned all of the Bitcoin in the world and you offered it to me for $25, I wouldn't take it because what would I do with it? I have to sell it back to you one way or another. I mean, maybe I'd be the same people, but it isn't going to do anything. That explains the difference between productive assets and something that depends on the next guy paying you more than the last guy got. Now, 